All right, Mr. Square Peg, here's that connector we were talking about on the Ender. This is the one that came stock on my Ender 3, which I purchased about last October or August. If you take a look at this XT60 connector that's on here, this comes apart really easy. Whereas this is a real XT60 connector. And they are much, much harder to pull apart and put together. The other th problem that people are having with these, that only a handful of people actually seem to have um, reported is that these ends are crimped rather than soldered. I'm actually going to go ahead and bust mine open. I don't see any charring in through here, so I don't think these are going to actually have any problems. The yellow is all good and bright. No discoloration, no signs of you know any problems in here, any of these wires looking messed up. But just because I know this now is not a real XT60, and I've now seen several people make comments about they're concerned and worried about using their enders because of these, I'm going to go ahead and just replace mine. So first thing I'm going to do is to pull this off and take a look. And mine are indeed soldered. They're not crimped. The way you can tell is, see the way this is half moon shape here? This is still half moon shaped and hasn't been crimped around and it's full of solder. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut these off right here as close as I can to these old connections. I'll um, strip back some of this sheathing and then put a pull of solder inside of these, stick the wires in there, and let them cool. Um, one thing to pro tip about doing these is when you fill these full of solder, keep them plugged in to another connector. Because if you try to fill them up like this, these will get hot and loose and start moving around. If you leave them plugged into an extra connector, when you do that, they won't move around in there and they'll stay in place. Um, and these I just looked on Amazon, they're like 10 of them for $8. So having some extra of these is no big deal. They're not expensive or anything. These are actually left over from a quadcopter project that I did a little while ago.